The Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board has organized a media party to discuss the vital role of the media in sustaining Nigerian content development, as well as the challenges and future of local content in the oil and gas industry. What we're doing right now is to make sure that any, any representative locally, must those companies must have value already in Nigeria to be able to do business here. Not just carrying briefcase. That's what we meant by briefcase carriers. We don't want to encourage, we want to provide an enabling environment to the IOCs and their services companies. And uh, we have a group of people called PETA. We have some good Nigerian companies who they form an association called PETA and they've done so much. To combat this, the NCDMB is introducing stricter measures to ensure that any company or representative operating in Nigeria must contribute value. The aim, according to the agency, is to create an enabling environment for international oil companies and service companies to operate effectively. Yeah, it is important to guide the various directorates, especially the top management, to say, look, because in Nigeria, our local content instrument is the boldest. Boldest in the sense that we're the, about the only country in the world that has a specific legislation where all our objectives about what we want to achieve under local content are well spelled out. The benefit it gives is that it makes for certainty. Everybody in the industry understands that this is what is expected of every stakeholder. It makes for predictability. You can predict what will be the consequence if you do not follow the right course of the law. It is uniform. It's not as if you give a different standard to Shell, a different standard to Egypt, a different standard to Tuta. The standard is uniform and applies to every stakeholder in the industry uniformly. And of course, there's clear consequence if you do not follow what the law prescribes. To drive growth, the board is committed to building and utilizing local capacity. The NCDMB is also strong on conceptualizing the African Energy Bank to support African energy projects. You've heard about the Africa Energy Bank. The conceptualization of that started in Yanagua uh, when we launched the local content fund. It was an announcement that was made, and that was because NCDMB was uh, in the technical committee on the future of oil and gas industry in the midst of the energy transition discourse. We realized that some of the potential projects from different African countries were being freezed simply because of the discussions around energy transition, the need to go clean. So uh, the Africa Petroleum uh, Producers Organization, which uh, we, was, we supported actively in their reforms, came up with the idea that let us assemble African countries to proactively look at how does how can Africa money contain that um, issue. So we realized that funding will be a challenge for Africa uh, field development projects. So that com committee was constituted, NCDMB was leading that committee. At the end of the day, we realized that there was a need for us to have a bank. In line with the presidential initiative to improve oil and gas production, the NCDMB is working to attract foreign direct investment and incentivize companies to raise gas production. If you are able to bring gas production on stream before 2029, then you qualify for these incentives. So they have various incentives listed in that. In that. So where do we come in there? Where it will come in is that any of these operators that now want to develop these fields, mega fields, and you know the importance of gas for power, it is the energy. You come to NCDMB and say, I want local content and labels so that I can meet the 2029 target. The challenges we have is um, how to minimize or reduce the cost of contracting and um, minimize the impact on IOCs in terms of our activities in Nigeria. For the companies who have left the shore of Nigeria, we should be able to bring them back to do, continue doing operation and, and respect Nigeria content. Despite its successes, the NCDMB acknowledged ongoing challenges, including high contracting costs and the need to bring back companies that have left Nigeria. Musumola Ogulu, Arise News, Lagos.